let us discuss this result of beta function okay so we have to prove one equality here it's quite easy we will start with left hand side and we will try to bring right hand side let us start so i am going to use definition here i will write by definition beta of m n plus 1 so we are familiar with definition of beta function so let us use the definition here definition says integration 0 to 1 x raised to m minus 1 and 1 minus x raised to we will subtract 1 from it n plus 1 plus 1 is already there so minus 1 plus 1 cancel we will have n dx this is equal to integration 0 to 1 what will i do i will interchange them if there is multiplication you can easily interchange so that's why i'm writing 1 minus x raised to n first and x raised to m minus 1 dx okay so see here uh, there is a product of two functions okay so i will call it as u and i will call it as v so you are familiar with integration by parts i will write here so integration u v is equal to u integration v minus integration derivative of u integration of v okay so this rule we follow okay in integration by parts let us follow the same thing here so this is equal to what we do first we write u as it is that means 1 minus x raised to n integration of v what is its integration x raised to m upon m this is integration of v so your yeah, first part is over having limit 0 to 1 minus after that we have one big integration integration 0 to 1 here we have to find derivative of u what is the derivative of this u n will come here n 1 minus x raised to n minus 1 after that we supposed to take derivative of that bracket also derivative of this bracket is minus 1 so that's why i'm writing minus 1 here after that integration of v what is integration of this v like same like this getting so it will be x raised to m upon m dx let us simplify it further so this is equal to i'm going to put one here first if i put one here one minus one will get cancelled to each other we will have zero minus now I am putting 0, but if I put 0 here, 0 raised to anything 0 and 0 into anything again 0. So that means finally we get the value of this bracket is 0. When we talk about this integral, whatever the constants we have, always we try to take them outside. We have a minus sign constant, minus 1 will come outside, but already there is minus sign outside the integration, minus minus plus, right? So that's why I am writing plus n m. Both of them are constants. Let us take them outside. So here we have n upon m integration 0 to 1. What we have inside the integration, we have this 1 minus x raised to and this x raised to m. So let us write those things. x raised to m 1 minus x raised to n minus 1 dx. So this is equal to, let me write it properly. We started with beta of m n plus 1. We started with this left hand side. And what we have n by m we are getting this integration getting but again we can use the definition of beta function here right with the help of beta function we wrote beta of this one is equal to we express in terms of integration so we have an integration now so let us write in terms of beta beta of we supposed to add one here so m plus one here also we add one one so plus one minus one cancel n let us take that n uh, in the denominator. So we'll have beta of m n plus 1 divided by n. And here beta of m plus 1 n divided by m. Yes, in this way we proved this theorem. Okay. So you can make a screenshot of it. Then we will stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.